Hi, University of Redlands School of Business and Society students. So glad you could make it today. We're going to talk about the sticky stuff, APA references and citations for your essays and for any other written work that you have done. Okay, so we are using the seventh edition of the American Psychological Association publication manual. And you might ask, well, why are we using this one? There's MLA, you may have learned MLA, or you may have learned the Chicago Manual of Style. Why are we using the American uh, Psychological Association Manual? Because it is more scientific, it has a bent towards the more academic. And so we're using that because we are a school of business and society. And how are we going to use it? We are going to use um, many of the uh, guidelines and styles that we find in this publication. However, we're going to use the student um, references. We're going to use the student format for your papers as opposed to the format that would be used for academic journals, peer-reviewed um, journals, doctoral dissertations. Okay, so what is included in the reference list? Well, the reference list identifies and locates the works that are cited within your essay or your, your publication. And so it, it tells the reader, if the reader wants to know more about your source, then the reader will go to your references list to be able to find that source more easily. And so the reference list lists sources that support the ideas, claims, and concepts in your essay. Now, chances are you're going to be doing a lot more research and finding many more sources than you're going to be putting into your reference list. That is because you are going to um, work with those sources and find those sources that really fit the need that you have in discovery. And you're going to mention those sources only in your essay and only the sources that you mention in your essay are going to be included in the reference list. However, there are things that are going to be referenced in your essay that are not necessarily, that will not be included in your reference list. And those include personal communications. They're cited in your essay, but not in the reference list. And then general mentions of websites, apps, and software. And so we have a rich resource for your um, creation of your reference list and your citations within your essays. And you'll find that the elements of reference, uh, missing reference information, basic principles, works included in a reference list, DOIs, DOIs, what are DOIs? Those are digital object information. So they tell you where you can go to find the article or the source and URLs. Um, you're familiar with that. So um, all of these examples, especially this button here, will help you to format your references as well. So what is included in a reference list? Well, first of all, you need to start with a new page, even if the last page of your essay only has four lines on it and you have three-fourths of a page that's empty, you need to start your reference list on a new page. And you need to alphabetize the authors, the last names of the authors, okay? And then double spacing. And you'll notice that it's left aligned, not justified on the right left aligned and a hanging indent. So instead of a first line indent, the first line is even with a left margin and the rest of the, the paragraph 
is indented half an inch. And you can, you can do that very easily within your uh, Word document. You go to the format, paragraph, and then on the right-hand side, at least for a Mac, on the right-hand side, it asks if you want a first line indent or a hanging indent, and you will check off the hanging indent. Okay, so what is included? What are the essentials of the reference list um, source? So it would be the author, the last name of the first author, comma, the initial of the first name, period, initial of the middle name, if you have that, period, comma. If there's a second author, it would be ampersand, last name of the author, comma, and then the initials separated with a period of the first and middle name, if you have the middle name, space, and then there would be a parentheses, the date, usually the year, parentheses closed, period, then the title of your source. And so if it's an article, it would be um, initial cap for the first word, and then it would be written very much like a sentence. And then if you have a colon, you would have the colon space, one space, and then you would have an initial cap of the fir first word after the colon, and then lowercase, and all of the, the words for the title, and a period. Notice the source name, the source name is italicized in initial caps, and each word, and then a period. So that's the basics. So the who is the author, when the date, what the title, and where, where was it publicized? Where was it published? The source. And so if you were to download a PDF of your source, you, it might look something like this. And so how do you find all of that information? Well, the source is the American Professional or the American Psychological Association. And the date is found right here. Then you have the title, Sensitivity to the Evaluation of Others Emerges by 24 Months. Okay. Then you have the authors. You have two Sarah Valencia Boto, Philippe, and Philippe Beauchat. They're responsible. So they are the authors. So how would you list this in your reference list? You would take the authors, Bato, comma, S, period, V, period, comma. And so it would be an ampersand, Rochat, the last name of uh, the second author, comma, Philippe, you'd have a P, capital P, period, space. And then you'd have the date. The date is right here, 2018. So the date in parentheses, period, and then the title of the article, which is right here. Notice initial cap in sentence type um, form, period. And then you have the source. So the source is a journal, developmental psychology. That would be in parentheses and initial caps. Here, um, comma, then you would have the volume. Notice the volume, 54 is an italics, but the number is not. So italics 54, then not italics would be parentheses, the number, parentheses closed, comma, and then the page numbers right here, period, and then the DOI, if you have it, digital, object information. Okay, so here you have a journal article. So basically you have five authors, Grady, Her, Marino, Perez, and Yelenic. okay? And so you give all the author information all se separated by commas. The last author is preceded by an ampersand. 
And then you have the year enclosed in parentheses, period, the name of the article beginning with an initial capitalization, emotions in storybooks, colon, then you begin the next word with a initial cap, a comparison of storybooks that represent ethnic and racial groups in the United States, period. Then you have the name of the journal in italics and every major word capitalized. So psychology of popular cap, initial capitalization, media, culture, comma, the volume number parenthesis in italics, and then in not italics is parentheses, the number, parentheses closed, comma, the page numbers, period, and the DOI. Now, in the body of your essay, you are not going to mention all the author's names. You're going to, as in a parenthetical citation, you will have a, a parenthesis, the first author's last name, space, et al, a l period, comma, and the date, uh, the year, 2019, parentheses closed. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> In your narrative citation, you will have Grady space at all period, parentheses, and the year 2019, parentheses closed. For your online newspaper article, it will be a little different. It will be the last name of the author, comma, initial, um, capitalized of the first name, period. And then you will have parentheses, the year, comma, the month and day, and then parentheses closed, period. Then you'd have the name of the article. And the name of that article is like a sentence written um, with initial cap, the first, the first word, but oh, look here. Early string ties us to Neanderthals. Neanderthals is capitalized, has an initial capitalization. Why is that? Because that's a proper noun. So you leave all proper nouns with their initial capitalizations. So after the title, you have a period, and then you have the name of the newspaper in italics, the New York Times period, and then you have the URL. Now, if you want to shorten the URL, you can. You can go to apps like bit.ly.com and you could have a shorter URL. Um, and so then you would, in the parenthetical citation, you would type parentheses, Roberts, comma, month, day, comma, and year, and then parentheses. Again, in a narrative citation within the body of your essay, you would write Roberts, no, no kin to me. Roberts space, parentheses, April 9, comma, 2020, parentheses closed. Okay, so for an authored book, we have three authors here, Kaufman, Glass, and Pinot, very similar to the way we've done multiple authors before. The year of the book, 2018, and closed in parentheses, and then a period. Now, the title of the book is interesting. The title of books are, the titles of books are italicized. But in the references list, in the references list, only the first word has an initial capitalization, unless you have a colon in, in the title then the next word after it would have an initial capitalization. Of course, if you have proper names in the, na in the title, then those proper names would also be cap initially capitalized. And then you have the publisher, which happens to be American Psychological Association, period, and then the DOI.
And then you see the parenthetical citation and the narrative citation. Very similar at all, okay? Okay, so edited books, this is interesting. So we have one, two, three, four, five editors here. So they are written very similar to uh, authors, multiple authors, but we have a parentheses, capital E, D, S, period, parentheses, closed, period. So that indicates that we have, these people are editors. They're not authors, they're editors. If we had just one editor, the S would come off, okay? And then now you have the year enclosed in parentheses and a period, and then the name of the book, again, italicized initial cap with the first word in the title and initial cap after any colons that might appear. And then you have the page numbers. Now, if it's one page, it could be parentheses P period 11, parentheses close period. But here we have two or, or multiple pages. And so you would have two P's, P, P period, and then the range, the page range. And then John Wiley and Sons, that is the publisher period. And then it is found with a DOI. And the citation is very similar to what we've seen before. Okay, government website. The National Institute of Mental Health. So we have the agency here. What is the government agency? It's the National Institute of Mental Health. And when was it written? We give the year and the month, enclosed in parentheses, period. Then we give the title of the report, Anxiety Disorders, and we give the name of the parent organization or agency, U.S. Department of Mental Health, of, of Health and Human Services, comma, National Institutes of Health, period. And then we give the URL of the report. And again, parenthetical citation this way, and narrative citation, very similar. Okay, this gets interesting, the YouTube video. So we have the author, again, as we have done before with author, but this author is an organization, Harvard University. We get the year, comma, month, and date that it was put up on YouTube all enclosed in parentheses and a period afterwards. Then we give the title of the vi video in italics and in sentence case. So only the first word of the title is initially capitalized unless you have a name, a proper name. And notice we call the type of video or the type of media is in brackets with an initial cap. So this is a video and enclose, enclose the, the bracket and then a period. And then where did it appear? What type of media? Well, it appeared on YouTube. So we write it this way, capital Y, capital T, um, no spacing, YouTube, period. And then we give the URL. Now we don't mention YouTube in the parenthetical citation. We mention the author. Harvard University comment and the year, not the, the month, okay? Okay, so TED Talks that appear on the TED website, not on YouTube, we'll have a different thing for that. Okay, so TED Talk on the TED web website. So we have the speaker and with last name first, comma, initial of the first name, period, space. And then we have the year, comma, month, all enclosed in parentheses, period. Then the name of the, the speech, 
um, title of the talk in italics and in sentence case. Notice, no period here, but we have a bracket and it is a video, bracket closed and then the period. Oh, look at this, we have TED conferences. Notice TED, T-E-D is all capitalized. I have seen it where it's been initial cap. That is incorrect. TED, all capitalized. TED conferences period, and then the URL where we can go and watch the video. And so here we would have, and there's a typo there, July instead of June, that's June. So I got ahead of myself a month. Okay, so we have parentheses, Cuddy, comma, June 2012, parentheses closed. Okay, now you have TED Talk on YouTube. So this is formatted just a little bit differently. So you have the speaker. Well, the speaker is TED, period. And then you have the year, the month, and the day, all enclosed in parentheses and a period. Then you have the title of the talk in italics and in sentence case. Then you have a space, then you have a straight line and a space and italicize the, the owner of the channel where you found the TED talk. And then you have, uh, in brackets again, the type of media, which is video, and the bracket here, and the period, and then YouTube, you have it on YouTube, period, and then the URL. So that, my friends, is just a primer, just, just the top of what there is to learn about APA references and citations. And I hope that you will go through your sources and go to that APA style.apa.org and look up your references and you will find a treasure trove of information for just for free. So I hope you will enjoy.